Hey, what is going on guys? Donovan here. And some of the questions I get asked a lot are surrounding the stripes that I have on my car. Because they're pretty much Hellcat stripes, even though this clearly isn't a Hellcat, but it was definitely inspired by the Hellcat stripes. And people are just curious where I got them, uh, how much I paid for them, and how much I paid for installation. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and go over those things. So as you can tell, the RT trim I have didn't come with the like Scat Pack Hellcat front bumper or the hood. So I just have the regular smooth hood and then I have the, the black front end. Now the kit does come with the stripes on the front ear, which I think I'm going to take off just to make it look a little cleaner. I'm curious how it'll look. And as you can see, they go across the whole car and to the back where it is my favorite where it comes up to the spoiler and goes all the way down. Now, it also comes with pieces that you can put on the spoiler. I just decided to not put those on because I already have the black spoiler from the black top package. If you have any questions about how it looks and how, you know, how hard it was to install or how the fitment was, go ahead and put those in the comments. But in general, um, the pieces were cut pretty well. And as you can see, they, they have the right dimensions on them, like the curves go well with the body lines and all that stuff. I was worried that it would look a little tacky because it is a pre-cut kit, but you also need to make sure that you either take a really long time installing them yourself or pay a professional to do it. Now that gets me into the price. A lot of people ask me, how much did you pay for the stripes? How much did you pay for installation? Now the stripes themselves, I got them online. I don't know the name of the website by hand, but I'll go ahead and put it in the description. I do know that they cost around $190. So that's already 200 bucks pretty much after tax and all that for the stripes. And then installation, I actually had my uncle do it because he wraps cars for a living and he did it for a family price. But I did get quoted before I remembered that I had a family member that could do it. And quotes ranged from about $300 to $400. Of course, you can probably find it for cheaper as well, but I advise you to proceed with caution with those because when you're working with parallel lines, especially when they're complementing other lines on things like cars, even little inconsistencies or little errors, like if this line here isn't perfectly straight, it'll pretty much ruin the stripes for you. So um, just make sure you either spend a lot of time doing it, tape everything off, make sure you don't press it down before it's perfect or just go ahead and pay a professional to do it now i personally think they look really slick i wasn't sure whether or not i was gonna like it and i wasn't sure whether or not i was just gonna take them off after a few weeks but i went ahead and did the black taillight tint as well when i got the stripes and i honestly think it complements itself i really wanted to set this thing apart from the regular rts because let's be honest there are a ton of granite crystal rts and a lot of them you can't even tell the difference between RTs and SXTs unless you look at the badge. So I just really wanted to set this thing apart and um, you know, I think the black and gray looks really sick. At certain angles, I don't know if you can tell from here, I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up. You can't even tell that the car has stripes on it and that's what I like. I decided to go with the matte ones because I figured shiny was too much having shiny stripes on shiny paint. So if you guys do decide to get these, especially on a gray car, I recommend the matte ones 100% because it looks sweet in my opinion. Anyways, like I said before, I'll go ahead and post the link to the stripes on the website in the description. But anyways, if this answered any of your guys' questions or you just wanted to see how an RT looked with these stripes, remember to click that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this car in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Hold on, man. Did you draw this? Yeah, I did. What's your name again? Um, my name is Jeff. 